Consequences and repercussions. Now, I don't advocate nor condone violence. In this situation, these two gentlemen were already in a back and forth exchange. The white male decided to throw the N word into this altercation. Sounds like mutual combat opportunity here. If you're in an argument and you decide to call the other individual that you are about to fight the N word, let this be a public service announcement, something like that may happen, okay? Now, I think the guy who was um, who was aggressive in the slaps was actually pretty benevolent. He never gave him a fist. He slapped him the entire time, all right? Uh, there was a move, I don't know if you all saw this, but he did something with his hat at the end of this. That was just quite interesting. Here it is. Damn. I'm sorry, guys. That's a cool mofo. Listen, I get it. No advocating for violence. We all understand what happens. You call somebody the, the N word, you're talking about fighting them, you know, fights happen, okay? But that hat flip, can we play that one more time, Jordan? We have, can we do that again? All right, we, I gotta see that one more time. Look at this. Fascinating. Damn. All right, um, listen, guys, just stop calling uh, people the N word, okay? Dan, uh, what are your thoughts here, brother? Yeah, I mean, his that white person's mouth was writing checks that his hands couldn't cash <laughs> very clearly. Um, and yes, we don't condone violence, but I do condone if you're going to get in a verbal argument with someone, do not use racial language or terminology towards them, because then every single video I see when that happens, they just go super cyan on the guy, and it's just like it's it's insane. Yeah. It's like it, and. A lot of pent up anger and frustration from the historical weight of these words and the everyday experiences kind of culminates in those slaps. Like it's as, as a black person entertaining to watch in that regard, but obviously this don't escalate it to violence, yeah. but also don't escalate it to racial terminology for other people as well. Well, yeah, I mean, in many jurisdictions would actually interpret once the N word was used, that was that was inciting violence. Uh, so it's not necessary that there's a physical altercation first. If it's an aggressive approach and an inciting of violence, that means through your verbal speech, then self defense can be applied immediately. And that's what I saw here. If I was in a court of law and I had to defend uh, the black male, that's exactly how I would defend it.